Hi, it's Jamie and Wesley, and today we're going to be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Foundation. Ooh, super hyped foundation right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we wanted to test it out to see if it was worth it, worth the hype, if it's good, if it's bad, see how Rihanna's doing with her new lines. It looks like she's doing very well. Everything I've seen looks very pretty so far. All the highlighters, all that stuff. Seems like it's doing pretty good, but... Jamie bought the lip gloss. You like the lip gloss, right? Yeah, I like the lip gloss. So, yeah. So, this is going to be my first impressions on this particular foundation. Jamie's been wearing it for a week now, so she'll be able to give a full review. Mm hmm And, yeah. So, let's see if it's any good. Let's see if we like it or hate it or... What are you going to like? Or what was going to happen? Also, this is the fourth time <laughs> filming this intro. We've this is having... literally the fourth. We just filmed it, and then we went to go edit it, and then it wasn't in focus, and then before that, there was no sound, and then it just... Yeah, we've been just a, having just all a, kinds of problems. It's a lot of mess, but we're going to get it uploaded. We're going to get it uploaded today. today. And, yeah, so if we're wearing different clothes and look different than we do in the actual video, this is why. <laughs> That's why, because they're fuck-ups. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's go see if we like it. So we're going to do the right side of the face with primer. All right. All right. Okay. It says the primer is a smooth pore diffusing finish and it's supposed to make your makeup last all day long. So this is going to be my first impressions of the foundation. Like I said, I bought it, but it was too light, so I took it off immediately because I looked like it was Halloween still. <laughs> But Jamie has been using it for, what, a week now? Yeah, a week now. So she'll be able to give you a full review of the foundation and how she likes it, how it has performed for her. So the primer so far feels like, it feels nice. Good. It feels like a moisturizer, kind of. I feel like it made a slight difference with the pores. Yeah, ish. Yeah, 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 it did. Yeah. And it definitely made my skin feel a lot smoother yeah, and softer. Yeah, smoother, softer. I know that people like do like, oh, half brush, half sponge side, but if all you use is a sponge on a daily basis, you know, normal daily life, then you want to test your foundation out with a sponge, right? All right, I'm going to start with the prime side, see how this goes. Are you just putting on one half of your face? Yeah, no, just for now. Are you sure? I just feel like it'll be... Easier to judge. I hope I'm not putting too much on. I just put it on like I normally would on one half of my damn face. Okay. It should be blending out pretty well, pretty easily. That's why I want to do half the face because sometimes the uh, foundations. Jim, you gotta look somewhat into the camera. I am trying to <laughs> and also looking here because it's closer. Sometimes the matte foundations dry so quick, like. <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah, but it's ain't. I don't know if this is my color. <laughs> so let me see. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully it oxidizes or something. That's what I heard about this foundation, that it does oxidize a little bit. Oh my god, it looks so pale on camera. Oh my god, it's like the f it's almost like the first time all over again. Feels like I am a pale girl, time. but this is like, like Halloween time. <laughs> Do you hear little kids? Mm-hmm. I can't tell if it's the kids or my cat fountain. It's the cat fountain. <laughs> but it sounds also like kids. You don't hear it? it sounds like somebody dying and then that cat fountain. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. What was it? It's your cat fountain. Are it's sure? dying slowly. So I'm gonna go put on. We're gonna go put on the rest of our makeup. And this I'm gonna is be all right I'm gonna back. What do you have to put on, Jamie? I look crazy right now. I'm gonna start with first impressions since this is the first time like using this foundation. It dried almost to a powder finish, so I did not really have to put like a setting powder on top of it, and. Even though this color is too pale for me, got 
I, I would say it's medium coverage. I got medium coverage out of it with the sponge. Uh, what did it, did it say it was full or medium? Medium. Medium to full. I don't know about full, full coverage oh, with wow. this because I can still see my freckles and stuff coming through. But it's a pretty good solid medium, I would say. I have really dry skin, so I don't know if I'd recommend this for dry skin. But I don't, when I like looked in the mirror, I didn't see like it emphasizing like dry spots or anything or texture or whatever. It was more like, like a powdery finish than... <laughs> it was more of like a powdery finish, so... Just for, if you're going to use this and you have dry skin, just use like a good moisturizer underneath. As for the primed side and the regular side, I don't know if I saw a difference, but I feel the difference. So that's, that really moisturizes, that primer is a really good like moisturizing primer. <clears throat> so Jamie's been wearing it for a week. What, did, what do you think about it? I just love it. I feel like it is a good, I don't like full coverage makeup uh, any foundation like that ever and I feel like it's perfect medium coverage I have like combination skin and where I am dry usually I feel like it never really like was clingy to my dry patches even when I wore it to work and I work for about five or six hours a day maybe and <clears throat> I feel like even at the end of the day it looked still really good and that was like six hours so I haven't worn it like for more than that really it does seem to last for me, particularly. I've worn it with foundation, uh, with primer and without primer. I feel like I definitely like it with the primer right now on this side. Well, I've used it with a different primer than this one, but even now with this primer and with the other one, I just feel like this side just looks better. I feel like it looks kind of dewier, which I do like that yeah. kind of look. So. I would always probably wear it with like a moisturizing, you know, like a something like a like a good moisturizer underneath or like a moisturizing primer. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I feel like this is my new go-to foundation. I like it. I usually used to wear what is it, the Makeup Forever HD. HD. And I feel like the consistency of it is about the same. It's kind of, you know, Yeah, it's pretty liquidy. Liquidy. It doesn't dry really fast where it makes it hard to blend. I feel yeah. like it's easy to blend. It blended out really well. I even, I mean, I still like the side without the primer, but I just obviously like the side with the primer better because I feel like it looks just dewier, and that's the look I always go for, so yeah. I like it. I'd say it's a good foundation. And I feel like it's good for the price, too, because a lot of makeup yeah, foundation... Yeah, it wasn't as expensive as yeah. I was expecting it to be. And the next foundation we're going to be testing out is like $58, so there you go. <laughs> Yep. Is it worth the price? Is it worth the price? Is it worth the money? We'll, we'll see. have to see. Alright, so that's the end of our Fenty Foundation video. video first impressions review. Do whatever it demo. is. Demo. <laughs> you know, you can subscribe to us yeah. and like us, so mm -hmm. don't forget to subscribe. Don't subscribe. Forget. And um, give us a like if you like, like this video. And uh, we'll see you in the next foundation video. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to film. Yeah, right now. Right now. <laughs> Bye. Bye.